Hello friends, today I'm going to make a delightful birthday card. I'm using this green polka dots um, cardstock pattern paper for my card base and I've cut this to five and a half by six, five by six and a half, which is the card base that I have. And I'm using another white, Nina White, Nina Solar White um, cardstock and this stamp set from your next stamp um, chemistry set. Um, I'm just going to place all the clear stamps to just see my placement and how I want my layout to be. Now you can see I'm using little tiny beakers, a light bulb and cute sentiment. I'm making this card for my um, niece who's going to turn eight um, this year and I'm making this 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 chemistry card because she's going to have a science themed birthday party soon and she has been learning about rock formation and different kinds of rocks and all that fun stuff in school she's been very excited so I thought this would be a perfect birthday card for an 8 year old um you know because this is going to be an interactive card which lights up you will see in a bit how I do that and I had so much fun making this card now this, I will I will agree, I will be honest, this was a little pricey, but I had so much fun making this card and she's, my our niece is really special to us, so I thought, you know, she really deserves this card. So And I also love the sentiment which says, you must be made of copper and tellurium because you are cute, a perfect sentiment for an eight-year-old. I'm using different kinds of markers today. I'm using the Crayola yellow regular marker because I don't have a big collection of Copics yet. I'm st I've just started building up on my Copic collection and I'm using my big brush orange Faber Castell marker. <coughs> I'm using my few um, pink and blue um, Copics for coloring the two beakers that you can see. I love how fun they have uh, small smiley faces on the beakers. Once again, very playful. I love the way the beakers have um, hands and they can you can even make the two beakers hold each other's hands. I went for the blue color for the second beaker because it has little tiny bubbles coming out from the beaker and I thought it was a perfect um, color. Now you can see I didn't do a, a very good job on the Copic coloring. I'm still learning uh, little techniques and um, tricks on how to do Copic coloring well. So uh, please bear with my Copic coloring for now. I made the light bulb say Eureka. I'll show you why in a bit because um, as I said, it's going to be an interactive card. I'm going to make it look like um, the light bulb is glowing and the experiment is a success when my niece uh, presses the plus sign. Now I'm going to make small markings behind with my pencil on the plus and on the light bulb. And I have the Chibitronics circuit which I'm going to assemble now. I'm taking this white piece of cardstock and I've folded it into half to make my battery fit. And I've added a plus and a minus sign on two sides just to make sure I know where the plus side of the battery goes. I'm using the copper wiring and I'm going to assemble my circuit. This is pretty straightforward. You just have to make sure you press the copper wire nice and neat um, on the paper and you make your folds precise. The other copper wire will take you to the plus side of the battery and the battery is going to sit between the two copper wires. Now this Chibitronics comes with different colors of light bulbs. I'm using the yellow just to match the light bulb outside and you will see how when I press the battery the light glows and the bulb outside glows. I love the way this has turned out. Now I just want to make sure um, the light doesn't keep glowing all the time because I want it to be a surprise element for my niece. So I'm going to house the battery with three, um, three layers of this foam tape 
that way only when she presses the plus sign the light will glow i don't want it to keep glowing all always so i'm just going to add one layer on top of the other and i'm going to do it three times so that there's good depth and the card base doesn't touch the battery Now I'm going to test it one last time and I'm going to make sure this works. I'm going to add foam tapes on all the four sides of the white card because I don't want it to be raised only in one point, one center middle point. I want it to be raised throughout the, I want it to be leveled. So I'm going to add foam dimension, dimensional tapes. And I'm going to level it to two layers. That way it's not awkward. It's not like a heap in the middle of the card. I want to try and hide the battery as much as I can. I don't know if you realize, but I haven't stuck the battery down to the paper. I've just housed it between three um, layers of foam tape. That way um, it stays in place. So now you can see how when I press the plus sign, the light bulb glows and I forgot that I shouldn't have placed it on the card base because I forgot to remove the foam tapes um, release paper. Now I'm sticking on the second layer just to make sure it has enough depth and matches the depth of the battery. I hope she enjoys the surprise element. I definitely had a lot of fun making this card. I'm just removing all the release papers from the foam tapes and I'm sticking it to the center of my green cardstock. Now you can see when I press the plus sign the light bulb glows. Now going moving on to my card base. So this is my white card base. Um, five by six and a half. I'm just erasing some pencil lines that I had previously made to cut the white card. And now, coming to the inside sentiment, I'm going to stamp a mad scientist. He is cute. I don't want to go too much into coloring because I'm directly going to stamp him on my card base. So I don't want to use Copics because they're going to bleed and show through the card uh, on the back side, which I don't want. So I'm going to use um, minimal coloring using um, just some Crayola Marcos. And I love this sentiment. It says, hope you have a delightful birthday. Perfect for the card, perfect for the occasion. And um, I'm so happy I can make this card for my niece. I'm just coloring, as I said, um, very lightly. I'm just doing some blue stripes on his tie and, some, and, and, and a little light pink on his shirt. I'm also using my um, Stedler pencils color pencils and I'm using the gray light gray and then the darker gray just to give him some old man's old scientist look he's coloring his mustache and his hair so that's going to be the inside of the card I'm using um, the double-sided tape to glue the front panel of my card to the card base And that's my finished card for today. I really love the way it has turned out. Now you can see I'll press the plus sign and you'll see the light bulb glow. There you go. Oh my God, I just love it. 
here are the finished pictures and that's Eureka and I've written press me there so that she knows where to press. I hope you all enjoyed this card. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.